All right, so if you're watching this video, thank you for coming. My name is Rodney, MC Shaky Roussel. You may have heard from me from one of the series that I did here on the tube, on YouTube called Prison Stories. Um, I was charged by the federal government on January 7th of this year with a new charge. So there is a chance that I'm going to be headed back to prison. I'm making these videos to chronicle what happens in that process. If you're watching this video, I'm in prison. <laughs> There's no question about it. I'm, I'm recording it, but if I don't go to prison, I'm not going to put them out. But if you're watching this video, you're I'm in prison. So, all right. So I recorded the video first, but I was all nervous and stuff. And so right now I kind of feel a little more better. And so actually this will be kind of like the third or fourth video I'm recording, but I'll present it first. If that makes any sense, I know it makes no sense, but there's a method to my madness. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I think it's just important for uh, people that know me and like me and people that don't to see what it is that I was going through. So, all right. So on the 7th of January, today is January 24th. So this has kind of been like a two week kind of thing that's been happening. Um, so on January 7th, I was charged by the federal, was officially charged by the federal government with one count of bank fraud. Um, the federal government alleged that I, uh, that I took 214, $213,000 from an employer and had it sent to an account that I had access to, um, and used it for my personal name. That's what the federal government is alleging. Um, if you are seeing this, that means I'm in prison. And in a later video, I'll explain to you more about that time and what was going on at that time. Uh, I won't do that right, right now because I'm actually going to post this now. I won't unpost any videos until, um, of course, the, my last day a free person. I'll post them all. And so you can binge watch them or whatever it is. Um, so that that happened on, the, on January 7th. Um, on about January 10th, I would say the federal government actually posted it on their page that I had been arrested. It got picked up by, um, a few papers. It didn't make the champ local news or anything like that, but it got picked up by a few papers. Um, it did hit social media. And so that was a big thing on social media. It was, <laughs> it was a big thing. It wasn't a big thing to me on social media. It was a big thing to people because, um, in 2018, this was a thing that was discussed on social media as far as what was happening, what was happening to me. And I'm sure there's like a videos that I've made that you can go find that I talk in depth about what um, how what happened in 2018 as far as like how this is not new to me. I've, I've always knew, known that there was a chance that the federal government could pick up the charges. Um, they did. Um, before y'all go ahead and prejudge, oh, you're a thief, you're a scam and all this stuff like that. Um, where I'm from, <laughs> there ain't nothing. You have to you have to get it how you live, and I've always had that type of mentality. Um, some people may say that hey, you made a mistake, you went to jail, and then you actually did something to go back. Um, you know, I talk a lot about taking penitentiary chances and feeling some type of way. Um, that's who I was in 2018. I had no sense. I felt everybody owed me something. I felt that I was not wrong. I felt like it was f them and f the world. Um, I can tell a story about me sleeping on a park bench and coming home from prison and not having anything and nothing and, and, and coming home from prison and having to sleep on a park bench and, and, and having to make a way and be a father and so much stuff. I had to like, whatever, whatever. Does that excuse what I did if I did anything? No, it doesn't. But I just want to give you a preface about you have no idea how many people could tell you no just because you tell them yes on the, you can tell them yes, I've been convicted of a crime on a box. There's no real jobs. There's no real opportunity. There's no real second chance. It's just not. It really isn't. Um, I discovered one and I forged one with uh, just kind of telling my story and telling y'all who I am and telling y'all what's going on and just being honest with that. But that came at a cost too. Um, does that excuse anything? No. I'm not asking for your empathy. I'm not asking for your sympathy. I'm only at just telling a story if you are interested in knowing. So right now, as I'm making this video, I am facing zero to 30 years in federal prison that is what i'm facing right now could i get 30 years possibly there is a possibility although it's a slim possibility could i get zero years yeah it's a possibility but it's probably a zero possibility it's somewhere in between that my record is horrible 
when I tell you there are four pages of arrests that I have had in my my in 20 years, it's not it's, it's that many. It's that many. It's several arrests. I'm looking at my stuff right now, and it's just it's a lot of foolish stuff, and it's not a lot of convictions, but I do have convictions as well. So, what would the federal government do? I don't know. I think the federal government is just doing something. I'm I'm more concerned about the federal judge that I'm going to get. Um, I find out that today, and I don't remember their name, I think it's Gidry, it's my federal judge. Let me look up Eastern District of Louisiana federal judges. And so, um, let me see, I think it, it starts with a G. All right, so, um, Zanny, Lamel, Vitter, Morgan, Fieldman, Brown. Yes, there is a Gidry, it's Greg Gidry. That'll be my federal judge. And also, I'll find out some information about him. Um, Okay. So yeah, my federal judge will be federal judge Great Gidry. And so we'll um I'll I'll do some research on him and Okay. So he's a Republican. He was nominated. He was nominated by uh, he's a Republican. Um Yeah. He's from Jefferson Parish. Um he was nominated by Donald Trump. Uh, on about three years ago and he actually um, he went to LSU and that's all I have on him um, the thing is he's actually he actually has the seat that's vacated by my first federal judge which is Kurt Anglehart, which was my first judge, and he used to call my first judge Lionheart. And so, um, I'm trying to see. So, I don't know if he's tough on crime. I don't know if I don't know much about him, but we'll try to find out, um, some stuff about him as this process goes on. I haven't seen him yet, um, of course, yet. Um, but, um, I'll look at kind of some of his sense and his stuff. I guess this is the benefit of being out right now. Yeah, that's what he looks like. Okay, he's a Republican. Republicans generally. Here's the Wikipedia page. Wow. Um, it doesn't say much about his cases. So his, it doesn't look like his big, big cases or anything like that. Um, he was in the Supreme Court of Louisiana. Um, doesn't know much about him yet. He doesn't have many landmark cases uh, right now that I can find. Um, Alright, so that's who it is. He's the, the, looks like one of the newer judges of the judges. Um, but he has actually got the seat vacated by my other judge. And so um, we'll see how that turns out. Um, I'm nervous now. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. So if you're watching this, I'm, I'm definitely nervous. Um, I just, I just, I feel like, I feel like when this occur happened and how this occurred in 2018, I'm just not that same person. I think I've been through stuff and I think I've, you know, um, done stuff that has changed me and changed who I am as a person. And I think, I hope some of that gets we can some kind of way say that who that is and who I am. I um it's just what it, what it is. I do uh so I like I said I'm gonna keep y'all updated about what's going on and how I'm coming, the preparation process, if anything happens. So if you're watching this I am in person so um as this goes along I'll definitely talk about stuff and uh keep y'all updated. I wish I was doing it live so I could ask questions but I don't wanna do it live. I wanna kinda do it more intimately and let y'all see it. Um, and I guess the only silver lining around this is that looks like if you're watching this, that means uh, when I get out, prison stories will be back. We'll have a part two. Uh, I don't know what that, that means to be in field. So look, if y'all don't mind, um, the only income I'll have while in prison is y'all watching these videos. So like, subscribe, share, go catch back up on prison stories. Um, go catch that content. And I appreciate y'all for that. Like, no shade. This will be what it is. Um, and I thank y'all. Y'all can write me if y'all want to, and we definitely will, uh,
talk about stuff that goes on. I do love y'all. And um, I hope y'all don't get to see this video. But if you do, I love you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.